Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So let's get into the topic. So today we are extending uh, ex extending another interview question on which is asked in LTA mind tree. The question, okay, let's get into the question. Let's get into the question. So the question here, what are the types of defects which you are rising, which you are going to rise in your when what are the types of defects we are going to raise in etl testing in the etl testing so let's understand let's understand this particular topic so before getting into this particular topic right so if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel so that i'll go ahead and i'll do much more on etl testing and we are going on one more announcement which i wanted to make we are going to start new batch on november 25th so let's get into the topic what are the types of defects which you have which you are going to raise in your day-to-day -day activities in etl testing in etl testing so try to understand this very very important and you these are the common defects these are the common defects which you are going to raise it up so first thing is okay whenever you are going to raise a defect whenever you are going to raise a defect okay First of all, you need to understand what, what is a defect. What is a defect? Defect in a simpler term. Okay, in a simpler term, if I can explain, expected results versus actual results. Expected result versus actual results. If both are not matching, if both are not matching, then we can consider as a defect. Let me make you understand in a simpler, much more way. For example, you are having a, you are having, you are having a source table is having, source file, source table is having 10 records. Okay. And as per business logic, as per business logic, it has to load, it has to load 10 records, but it is loaded only 5 records. It is only loaded 5 records. See, try to understand what is expected results as per mapping document as per mapping document which you are specifically telling to the system okay as per mapping document you have to build the system then as per that it has to go ahead and it has to load the all the data which is present in the source system it has to load into the target but here what is happening it is loading only five records five records which means you are expecting 10 records but it is it is loading only five records, which means it is mismatching. Then we can consider as a defect. We can consider as a defect. So let's get into step by step. So first thing is, first thing is, whenever you are going to, you are going to take any requirement, whenever you are going to take any requirement in ETL testing, in ETL testing, you are going to get as a user story, user story, Along with that, in user story, they can give the mapping document. Mapping document. What is mapping document? Mapping document contains source details as well as target details along with transformation logics. Along with transformation logics. In coming video, in coming video, in next video, I am going to prepare a one sample mapping document and couple of subscribers ask me how to prepare the test cases and how to how you are preparing the test cases in your project okay this is the question couple of users are ask me okay i am going ahead and i am going to explain in coming video i mean next video i am going to explain by seeing that video and this video if you can correlate it, all the things you can it can be better so let's get into this so first thing is you are going to see what is the source of truth for validation mapping document mapping document first thing is you have to validate the mapping document you have to validate the mapping document so once you validate the mapping document if any issues are there you are not going to raise a defect you are not going to raise a defect see you have to check with the respective p1 ba then on top of it if any issues are there then you have to short it out once you sorted out, okay, along with that mapping document, you have to prepare the test cases. You have to prepare the 
test cases you have to prepare the test cases once you prepare the test cases and developer is already developer has to develop the job and the, if the developer has been developed and as well as unit tested then next thing is it has he has to move to the test environment that particular workflow it has to move to the test environment he is going to deploy into test environment so first activity you are going to take care of it you have to run the workflow once you run the workflow so there are two things it can be successful it can be failure if the workflow is failed if the workflow is failed then you are going to raise a defect so that is the one of the defect which i can say you are going to raise it up that is the one thing second thing is okay sometimes you may see you may see connection issues connection in incorrect connection has been provided in the incorrect pro connection provided in the workflow so that kind of issues also you can mind you can make it as you can create a defect under job job or workflow failure category so next next thing is metadata validation metadata validation very very important these these type of defects right so first in source in source uh, in mapping document source details and target details so whenever they are going to prepare target details right first you have to validate the source columns okay data type data type length first schema name schema name in the sense database name and then table name and column name column data type column data type length and along with that constraints validation constraints validation whenever you do this right if any one of the thing is mismatching if any one of the thing is mismatching you have to go ahead and raise the defects raise the defects okay what we can call these defects we can consider as a metadata validation defects under category of metadata validation defects so you can mention this column is not available in the target system this this particular column data type as per mapping document it is varchar2 but it is available in the target system as number and at the same time in mapping document we have provided data type length is 10 but here they have defined as a 30 or for example if consider it in mapping document they have provided the 20 but in the target table they have provided only 10 so such kind of defects you have to mention that and you have to raise it and constraint validation for example employee id is there in employee id you have to go ahead and you have to see the primary key in the table but they have not enabled the primary key in the target table target table such kind of issues you have to raise as a defects column name defects data type data type length constraints validation also next defect which we are going to see is next defect which we are going to see is okay data completion issues for example okay for example in the first initial discussion what i have mentioned in the source we have a 10 records targeted it has to load 10 records but it is loaded only five records which means record count is not matching between the source versus target record count is not matching between the source versus target which means the data is partially loaded partially loaded you can write it up data completion issues record count is not matching between the source versus target source is having 10 records but target is having five records this is the one kind of defect another is data accuracy issues for example let's say incorrect data values for example you have a source side you have a source side you have 100 100 record okay but in target side it is loading as a thousand additionally one more zero is adding so what we can consider here incorrect data is loaded between source versus target source side is 100 but in while loading to the target while doing the etl process in between you have added additionally zero so at that time we can consider as a incorrect data values which you are doing and for example ravindra reddy ravindra reddy is there in with that data truncation defect which i'm talking ravindra reddy is there but while i'm loading it is coming as a the data type length they have provided only 10 which means ravindra after that one space and r is coming the remaining data is truncating because of the data type length issues the data is not fitting into the target particular that column so that particular scenario also we are going to raise defect 
Next is data precision issues. Precision issues. For example, what is precision? Okay. For example, you have a salary. Okay, salary. For, sa not salary. Let's consider it uh, petrol price. Petrol price. Okay. When we say petrol price, if you can go to any petrol bunk. Okay. What is the thing which you are going to see? What is the thing which you are going to see? In petrol bump, you are going to see even paisas. Okay, if you are in India, you are going to see paisas also. So, 90, for example, 98.50, 98.60. So, while you are loading, okay, if you are loading directly 98 and you are removing the 60 paisa, then the calculation is going to be wrong. Then that time, data appreciation issues also, which we are going to see. So, those things also we have to consider it. Next thing is data conversion errors. Data conversion errors. I'm going to talk about that data conversion part and default value. For example, if you, if you if the column is having, okay, if the column value is not there, for example, in the column, one of the record is having null value, but we are going to set it up as a, set it up as a, set it up as zero. We have to set it up as a zero. Okay, then that case, that zero is not loaded in the target, then that we can consider as a default value. For example, uh, one more scenario, couple of columns, which we are going to keep it as a default values. If the value is not there at system, just we can consider as a default value. Some of the columns which we are deriving by our own application name, application name. Then that time what we can do, we are going to keep it that application name by default. This, this particular column is not deriving from the source system, not deriving from the source system. If that default value is not kept in the uh, kept in the if default value is not coming in the target system then we are going to raise this and data aggregation errors data aggregation defects okay errors or defects we can consider data aggregation for example you are calculating okay department wise salary department wise salary you are summing it up okay so that case if you are not doing properly then this kind of errors which we are going to see it which we are going to see these kind of defects which you are going to get it as part of the ETL testing. Other than that, very, very important and very common question people will ask you, data duplication, data duplication. So most of the times in interview, they will ask you, okay, write the query for the, do, write, write a query to identify the duplicate records. So duplication also we are going to consider it, duplication also. So these are the some, uh, couple of things which I can say very common things as well as we are going to see much more let me go get into one more slide then you will understand so data transformation issues data transformation issues let me get into data transformation in detail with examples with examples let's go here okay in data transformation issues we have a incorrect transformation logic incorrect transformation logic for example Okay, whenever we are going to see temperature value, Celsius to Fahrenheit, Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay, if the transformation is not happening, if the transformation is not happening, then we are going to see, we are going to see error in the calculation. So such kind of things we are going to see. For example, okay, for example, if you are converting dollar to dollar to very, very simple example, I can give you to make it aware of it. For example, you have a dollar you are going to convert into rupees. So if the calculation is happening, instead of 82 rupees, if you made it as 60 rupees, entire calculation is going to be wrong. Entire calculation going to be wrong. So entire calculation is wrong. So such kind of thing, such kind of incorrect transformation logic or incomplete Okay, missing or incomplete transformation. For example, you are applying various transformation, like uh, you are going to clean the data and formatting. Okay, but out of it, if one of, any one of the transformation, okay, any one of the transformation, if you missed, if you missed in between, for example, let me give you an example. You are going ahead and you are doing the concatenation of two columns. Okay, like first, first name and last name, you are concatenating. But you, you have to do even trim. Okay. You have to do on top of trim. Okay. First you are going to trim. Then on top of it, you have to do concatenation. But without using any trim, directly you are doing the concatenation, which means you are omitting one of the transformation. 
one of the transformation which means you are missing the transformation incomplete transformation you are doing these kind of defects also which we are going to see it which we are going to see it okay whenever the, whenever we are going ahead and we are going to just now I have mentioned right inconsistent data units just like consider rate you know dollar to indian rupees same thing with the pounds to kilograms pounds to kilo, kilograms and now we have covered already data type mismatch for example in etl process it is it is designed to transform a numeric field into string field okay for example you have a source side yesterday i have explained right one of the scenario where you have a string field in the source okay but you are going ahead and you are going to keep it as a code in the target so such cases if the source side you source side you have it is a string okay but target side you wanted to populate as numeric but you are missing that particular scenario again you are populating as a string then that kind of scenario data type mismatch is going to come data type mismatch is going to come and these are the thing and data concatenation errors misalignment data formats okay and when it comes to date format also very very important date format and truncation issues default value issues inaccurate calculations inaccurate calculations means suppose instead of doing with one value you are doing another value okay instead of applying multiplication you are doing addition okay fail to failure to apply business rules for example if you are doing n, n number of transfer filter condition joining conditions okay along with that uh, where conditions okay when i say filtering conditions along with that joining conditions and you are applying the group by logic okay you have to do you whatever the functions which you are for example you wanted to trim the data you wanted to add additional spaces you wanted to do even you know like a couple of functions you wanted to re take the substring of the data you wanted to take the part of the data and at the same time you wanted to go ahead and up additionally you wanted to add some data so concatenation and then you wanted to do case sensitive like lower case to upper case upper case to uh, init cap like that you if you are has as per mapping document as per mapping document if you are not applying 100 percent if any one of the issue also which is present then you are going to rise a defect okay you are going to rise a defect expected versus actual if you are missing then you are going to rise a defect and very very important thing which i wanted to mention okay most of the people will think testers are you know second class members in the it industry remember this okay if you are a perfect test, not perfect tester, good quality. If you are a very good tester, okay, even though developer will do everything, even though product owner will do everything, business analyst will go ahead and do everything, okay, even developer will do everything good, but still, okay, being a tester, okay, if you have not tested the product properly, if you miss any couple of bugs into the production, okay, however they do their work perfect way, still the product going to be failed. The product going to be failed. That particular application going to be failed, okay. So I would say testers are the gateway of the quality, okay. Who is going to be the gatekeeper for quality? Testers, okay. You, you, it is your responsibility to make sure you have to test it everything properly whatever the see the last statement which i made it it's crucial to it's, it's crucial to thoroughly test the data transformation phase during etl testing to ensure that the logic applied aligns with the business requirement so to make it in a simpler words okay according to the business requirements everything to be tested and it has to be passed it has to be passed and if any one of the issue is there then you can go ahead and you can make it as a defect make it as a defect by discussing with respective po and developer by discussing with respective po and developer that's it guys for the day we'll co we'll connect with you later tomorrow and november 25th is the batch is going on please Go ahead and enroll yourself. Thank you.